What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about two big issues that players are reporting in Modern Warfare 2 since the Season 1 update went live. One of these issues is you cannot join friends or friends cannot join you once in game. And the other issue is some players are still unable to install that multiplayer pack. It keeps saying that it failed or can install. Now this does not seem to be an issue on PC. Everyone that's reporting this seems to be on PlayStation or Xbox. So if you're on PlayStation, how you can fix this is cancel and delete the content packs in the download screen. Go to uh, manage your game content on the home screen by pressing the options button. Then uninstall the multiplayer co-op and Warzone content packs and then reinstall those three packs, the multiplayer co-op and Warzone content packs. And after installing that again, the update should finish installing and the game should work. Now, some players are still saying that they've done this and they still get that cannot install option. But from what I've heard for the majority of everything uh, on online, people on Twitter or Reddit have said that this option or this method does work for them. On Xbox, it seems the new update automatically uninstalled the multiplayer altogether and players will need to manually install it again in the Manage app screen. Like I said, when it comes to PC, this has this has really seem to be a problem or hasn't been a problem on PC widespread enough to where players are you know really talking about this not downloading correctly it seems like it's an Xbox and a PlayStation problem heard a lot more about it on new gen consoles than old gen but just keep in mind if you're on console this could be an issue if you do have the game now or you plan on getting the game in the future the other problem uh, in game right now once you're in you cannot join your friends if you go to the social option up in the top right corner uh, you try to click on that social option to see your friends, to invite them, or to join them. It just kicks you back out to the menu. Me and two of my friends were playing yesterday. We all three own PS5, so it's not like it's just tied to you know multiple different platforms playing together. It doesn't it doesn't really seem to matter what platform you're playing on. If you're on the same platform or opposite platforms, once you go to that social option, it will actually just kick you back out to the menu. There is a workaround for this. First of all, if you are on PlayStation or Xbox and you're in a PlayStation or Xbox party, you can join your friends from that party. But if you're actually in game, you're not in a party together, uh, you know, on PlayStation or Xbox, you can go into uh, the option to create a chat or create a channel up in the top right corner where social is, you know, kind of there. You can go in and create a channel or create a, a chat from there and join your friends or invite your friends through that method as well. So there's two different ways, this are two different workarounds really for that until there is a fix put out. But these are the two main issues that players have been reporting since that uh, season one update went live. Hopefully Activision and Infinity Ward will get an update out soon. They're usually pretty good. Most of the Call of Duty developers are usually pretty good about fixing some of these issues like this, some of these bugs, some of these problems. They usually do a pretty good job of fixing these uh, in past years, so hopefully we'll get a fix for this really soon. But anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you're experiencing any other issues since the Season 1 update went live. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.